<laughs> Owls. Owls have habitats in all parts of the world except Antarctica. They nest in trees, in holes in the ground, in barns, and in caves. There are 216 different species of owls in the world today. The great horned owl is native to the Americas and is recognized by the bright yellow iris in its eyes and long horn-like ears. Owls are efficient nighttime hunters that strike from above and use their powerful talons to kill and carry animals several times heavier than themselves. Owls prey on a huge variety of creatures including insects, raccoons, rabbits, squirrels, domestic birds, falcons, and even other owls. Owls sometimes swallow their prey whole after killing it with their incredibly strong talons. They are nocturnal creatures and as such have large eyes with excellent night vision and extra sensitive hearing to stalk their many prey in the dark. <laughs> <sighs> Hi guys, it's Amore and Hippolyta. I can't sleep. There's all these owls making noises outside. Do you know anything about owls? They live at night. Like, I mean, they live all the time, but they're awake at night, all night. They're nocturnal. I'm trying to sleep. I'm not nocturnal. You hear that? See? That's what I'm talking about. <sighs> I don't know if I'm going to be able to sleep. I guess since I'm up, want to do a project? Perch. A place for a bird to rest. Nocturnal. To be active at night. Habitat, a place where an animal lives. I've got the perfect project for us right now. We'll make an owl. First thing we do is sketch. So get your scratch paper and sketch an owl. Make sure it's at night, cause like we talked about, these guys are up all night. So now that you've sketched out an owl with a nighttime sky, Get your watercolor paint, and you're gonna paint your nighttime sky onto your watercolor paper. Take your watercolor paper that you've painted your lovely night sky on and set it aside to dry. Now we're gonna work on the owl's body. You're gonna take your two biggest pieces of construction paper, they should be the same color, take one of them and fold it hamburger. Have you ever heard that before? So you fold hamburger and then you fold it hamburger again. That way when you unfold it, you're gonna have four different sections of your paper. Next, you're gonna cut along those lines so that you end up with four strips. Take those four little strips that you just cut out and now you're gonna take each one of them and you're gonna snip, 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 snip along one edge. Only go halfway up. These are gonna be your owl's body feathers. Next, take that other piece of construction paper that matches the same color, and you're gonna put little, little snips in the bottom of that one too. But you don't go up very far with your little, little snips. Just a little, little bit, because they're gonna lay on top of each other. It's gonna look like this, and this, bottom layer of fringe comes from the biggest piece of paper glued to the bottom. So you can kind of see that you're really only making little slits in this one. Now we're going to make its eyeballs. <laughs> you can put the body papers aside and get the white paper and the yellow paper out. Fold that white paper in half and fold that yellow paper in half and then cut a circle on both of them. What's gonna happen is you're gonna end up with two matching circles. Two matching circles. One set of white, one set of yellow. Last set of circles you're gonna cut 
are from the black paper. Fold that one in half too, and then cut around to make a circle and open it up and you should have two black circles now. Your black circles should be smaller than your yellow circles. Your yellow circles should be smaller than your white circles. See that tiny little piece of orange construction paper you have? That's gonna make your owl's beak. Beep, beep, beep. Actually, no, it's more like hoo, hoo, hoo. Anyway, so you're gonna take that little orange piece and you're gonna fold it in half and you're gonna cut a triangle. Zoop, zoop, just like that. And that's gonna make your owl's beak. So when you unfold that triangle you cut, it should look like a diamond because when you glue it on, that's what makes your owl's beak. See, you can have it closed or you can have it open like the owls around here because they're always saying who. Now we're gonna assemble the owl, but first we need to curl its hair. Take those little strips of paper that you cut the little slits into and take those slits and wrap them around a pencil like this. Yeah, you're curling its hair. Look, ta-da! Fancy, fancy. So that's what your fringe should do. It should curl up like this. Take your biggest piece of construction paper that has the little fringe snipped at the bottom and glue that piece down first. Then you're gonna take the other four pieces and you're gonna glue them on in layers, making sure that the fringe sticks out at the bottom. Next, take your big old piece of felt and glue it down on top of the feathers to make your owl's head. He's a blackhead. <laughs> now take the rest of the feathers and glue them along the sides of the owl's body. It's circle gluing time. First set of circles you're gonna glue are your white ones. Next set of circles you're gonna glue are your yellow ones. Lastly, you're gonna glue the black circles into the center of your owl's peepers. Next, it's time to install your owl's beak. Just glue the bottom triangle to the felt. That way, it has kind of a three-dimensional quality because the top triangle flops. Hey guys, don't eat those beans. They're for the branch. You're gonna glue them along the bottom of the owl's body and it will create the effect that the owl is actually perched on a tree branch. Super cool, right? Then you can take the sequins and you can add them on top, make it look like little flowers or bugs or leaves, whatever. Ooh. Good job, guys. Those are some cool looking owls, right? Well, now that we made that project, I'm ready to try and go back to bed. I'll see you guys next time. Me and Hippolyta are gonna catch some Z's. <sighs>